announced that this week that uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez is going to be fighting Munguia on May 4th. Um, that's a typical, his typical um, uh, May uh, Mexican Independence Day that they fight that weekend. So that's still happening. Um, let me tell you, let me give you some. And, and, you've heard, and you've heard this other dude that you just named, right? Because oh, no, no, no one else watching the show has ever heard of that person. <laughs> Magia? Magia, yes. Magia is, is a well-known why fighter. Just a bit, why don't you tell us a little bit about him, Cam? Because no one else has ever heard of that person before. Many people have heard of Magia. Magia. No, that's, um, that's not true. Um, he's a another. He's another Mexican fighter. He's a banger. Um, that Canelo's going to be going up with. Uh, Jaime Mingia. You've heard of Jaime, Jaime Mingia. Uh, again, he's a banger. Um, he's a he throws. He comes in there. He's a bit. He's bigger than Pitbull Cruz. Who's going to bring try to bring the fight to you? However, he's he's going to walk right into Canelo Alvarez's. Um, he, he he's kind of tailor made for Canelo Alvarez. Who he's going to he wants to come at you, and Canelo is going to be able to pot shot him and 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 pot shot him most of the fight. So that's going to be that's the difference. But Jaime Mejia is a former world champion. Um, that that. Uh, Canelo's line uh, belt is going to be on the line, so it's going to be a great fight. Um, it's so hand picked. Not a, it's not going to be a great fight, but so hand so hand picked, like uh, pretty Nikki much and uh, Rocky Three said, you know, hand picked. Pretty 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 much hand picked. However, it'll be a good fight. He's going to bring the fight. He's going to bring a, bring a fight to Canelo and Canelo, but he's going to be he's going to keep coming at Canelo regardless of how Canelo however Canelo hits him. He's gonna keep coming at him. Canelo's last fight with uh or was it his last fight? Uh Ritter, John Ritter, who didn't really want to engage with Canelo, made Canelo chase him, is not gonna be that type of fight. It's gonna be a fight where the guy is gonna keep coming at Canelo. Canelo's gonna have to watch out for some blows, but he's gonna be so, able to so, so, so Cam, as, as 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 a so called fight fan that that, that you uh, claim to be. Do you take exception to the fact that Canelo did not uh, want to avenge his loss right away? With his last with, loss, Dimitri with Dimitri Bivol. Yeah. Okay, Canelo went up two rounds or two divisions, two weight divisions to fight Dimitri Bivol. Um, and with the with fighters who are saying it that. He he was daring to be great. Okay, fair enough. Sure, but he got his ass whooped, and it was that it was the type of fight. It was okay, like stay in your lane. <laughs> it was that type of fight where stay in your lane, uh, know your audience, um, and don't step out of don't step on the line because he was he was outmatched. He was fighting a bigger fighter. He was fighting a, a fighter that was uh, just bigger, more powerful than him, and so. Do a, I I am more, I am more salty with Canelo like not fighting Dave, David Benavides, like that's the guy he should be fighting. But he he's trying to fight everybody but him. He fighting the Charlo. He fought the Charlo. Uh, rumors were he's going to fight the the, old, the older Charlo brother this weekend or with this fight the, here. The one that's the one that's actually uh, in, in his weight class. Originally. Yeah, but he but he's not fighting him. He's he fighting Jaime Miguel. The argument. He should be. I'm more salty with him with Canelo not fighting David Benavides than going back and fighting Demetri Bivol. I understand why he's not fighting Demetri Bivol. Demetri Bivol is is bigger, stronger. He's a better uh, he's a better boxer. Clearly, he dominated Canelo. So um, I don't think that would be any different if they fought again. But David Benavides is kind of who we should see Canelo fighting, and he refusing to fight that fight. Yeah, a lot so, of people. So does does Canelo have a signature victory? What do you mean? Does Canelo have a? Yeah, he bought Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, bought him. 
Yeah, Canelo's, and so this is what you, you cut me off before I can get to it. Um, Canelo is widely recognized as one, two, three, the at least the top three fighter in the world. Like, except he's at the position, he's at the position now that Floyd Mayweather was, that he can pick his opponents. He can pick who he wants to fight, and you really can't say anything about it because he's fought many, he's taken on many challenges. Right now, today, we want to see him fight David Benavidez. But he fought Triple G, uh, and when Triple G was at his prime, and, and he, and he, had he, didn't, he, he didn't win all those. Now, now that now he, well, did he lose to Triple G once? It, no, he didn't lose to him. I mean, it was it was close. It was an argument. Oh yeah, pencil whipped. Okay, it, it was there was there might there might have been some right? favoritism. There might have been some favoritism in in Las Vegas, but he he fought and dominated his fight. He, he's Canelo again. Canelo is the top three fighter in the world. Canelo's Fighting. a name. Canelo's a name. His name again. Canelo's the top three brings, fighter in the world. Brings, brings, like anybody brings, who brings, anybody uh, who knows anybody who knows boxing. Who you got here? Taylor Chavez. Say that. Say that. Boots. And he brought in the he and he brought in the hawk. Against Alexis Arguello. You're nothing about that, do you? K 